Hi, ich bin Alice und heute bin ich hier in Mannheim, um bei der Studie von Taras Dumbris teilzunehmen. Taras Dumbris is a psychologist and dream researcher from Lithuania. He is doing a doctorate in sports science, where he is exploring applications of lucid dreams in sports. I take part in two studies of Taras. Lucid dream induction by transcranial direct current stimulation and motor learning in lucid dreams. How did you get interested in lucid dreams? Well, at the time I was a master's student and I was studying psychology and I was interested in consciousness and I was looking for a topic for my thesis. At that point I just accidentally read something about lucid dreaming. Well, I never had lucid dreams before and I just decided to give a try. And interestingly enough, I was successful on my very first occasion. And that lucid dream, my very first lucid dream, in some way changed my life. Because, uh, well, I was really impressed uh, with the realness of the world, which is in the dreams. Because I tried to play with my various senses. I tried to touch things, to eat, and so on. And everything was as real as it is right now. With the only difference that, well, now we seem to have some external world what we perceive and that world which exists in our dreams just exists in our mind but it is as real as this world after awakening from my very first lucid dream i was completely sure what uh, what is uh, this research what they want to do and now for the last few years i'm doing lucid dream research how do you know as a researcher that the person has a lucid dream uh well Uh, lucid dreams usually occur during REM sleep, which is a rapid eye movement sleep. And during REM sleep, your body is like paralyzed, so it's called muscular atonia. So basically it means that your muscles are, in simple terms, just switched off, with some small exception. And uh, one of those exceptions uh, are obviously eye movements, because it is rapid eye movement sleep. And what is interesting that eye movements in a dream correspond with eye movements of physical eyes. So it means that if in a dream you will look into the left, uh, your physical eyes will also go to the left. That's, uh, that allows us to have a communication with a person in a dream. Then we can see those eye movements on a sleep recording. And is there a special symbol or a way how they can say that they have a lucid dream? Well, uh, usually they're producing a sequence of left-right eye movements and we're using that as a signal. Why do you think it makes sense to practice motor skills in lucid dreams? Uh, well, mental practice is uh, uh, really widespread in sports and <coughs> many top athletes are practicing uh, their performance in their mind before competitions. Um, but the difference is that Pra that mental practice during wakefulness is just just like imagination and it's and in the lucid dreams uh, the world that we perceive is as real as it is in wakefulness so <clears throat> it looks like uh, the practice in lucid dreams uh, should be much more effective than mental practice in wakefulness but of course that's a hypothesis that which we want to test and it also will allow for example, for some athletes to practice those skills that are, let's say, uh, slightly dangerous in, in wakefulness because, well, you know that nothing wrong can happen in a lucid dream, so you won't hurt yourself and, and you can do all the weird things. Also, another possibility is that if you are recovering from some injury and your body is still not ready for physical performance, you can already practice those things in a lucid dream. And once your body will be ready, You have already learned all those skills, and uh, yeah. A lot of possibilities. A lot of, indeed. What is the other study about and how did you get the idea to do research about it? Mm -hmm. uh, well, there is a hypothesis when, when you're becoming lucid in a dream, uh, some particular areas of your brain becoming more activated. 
And that's how you're perceiving that you're getting that, let's say, high level of consciousness in a dream. That's the hypothesis what we want to test on. So we want to stimulate those areas that are supposedly linked to lucid dreaming uh, during REM sleep uh, artificially using TDCS, so-called transcranial direct current stimulation. So basically with a very uh, weak electronic current, we want to excite those brain areas and to make those active and to see whether that leads to lucidity in dreams. Augen nach links, nach rechts, nach unten, nach oben, blinzeln, okay, Zähne knirschen, schlucken, okay, uh, links, rechts, links, rechts, Signal geben, How do you know that it works out and how many people participate? Uh, well, we have uh, 20 participants in total and each participant spends three nights in a sleep laboratory. So the first night is for adaptation. And then we have uh, two other nights. So in one of those nights we're giving the actual stimulation and in another night uh, we're giving a sham stimulation. So it's like an imitation of stimulation. And uh, then uh, we can compare those dream reports from the nights where p people received stimulation and those nights where they didn't receive stimulation, so they received just an imitation of stimulation. Cool, thank you. I'm looking forward to participate and I'm looking forward to explore the world of lucid dreaming. Thank you. Great. Guten Morgen, Alice. Was hast du geträumt? How did you get in? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I have the microphone. Oh, yeah.